Hello and welcome to CMC Markets Weekly Outlook video. My name is Colin Sadzinski, Chief Market Strategist. The eyes of March, or March the 15th, has the t potential to be a really active day for trading, particularly in the U.S. market. Uh, for the U.S., it's the day of the Fed meeting, and the Fed is expected to raise interest rates once again. We've had a lot of signals that, unless things really went off the rails, that the Fed would be considering raising interest rates again. Uh, the, since then, uh, that those comments made by Fed uh, Chair Yellen, we had a an absolutely spectacular ADP jobs report, and we now have the markets pretty much thinking that the Fed set to raise rates again in March. Why is this significant? Because in 2015, and 2016, the Fed only raised rates once per year. There are, this will be their first increase of 2017 coming on the December 2016 rate increase and suggests the Fed could be setting up for raising rates once a quarter this year as they, tend, well, they seem to want to move gradually. The, uh, the interesting thing, though, is that the Fed had said they were looking at raising rates three times this year. If they do go in March, it gives them more options. In, in previous years, they had found them, we had seen the Fed had been stalling and stalling throughout the year, particularly in 2016 where they held off because of Brexit, they held off because of the U.S. election, then they got to December and all of a sudden found they had backed them, painted themselves into a corner. So it looks as though the Fed's trying to give themselves some more flexibility this time around. The uh, Looking at this, what's intriguing is that uh, if we look at how the Fed funds rate is, uh, is pricing in future rate hikes, we have a 98% increase uh, percent chance the, the street's pricing in of a increase in March. But look at this, almost a 50% increase of a second hike in June and over a 25% uh, percentage chance of a, uh, a third rate hike in September and almost 20% of a fourth rate hike uh, in December. So the street does seem to be coming around to the idea that the Fed could raise rates uh, uh, fairly consistently going forward. Uh, at this point in the cycle, it's important to remember that uh, as long as we're running below 2%, which is the Fed's inflation target, that we're still looking at, at really the Fed taking their foot off the gas more than, than the Fed actually putting their, their foot on the brake. Still, what it does suggest is a lot of the really, really super easy money out there and really cheap money that's been fueling the stock market gains may continue to be unwound uh, over the course of this year, and that could have an impact on trading. One of the things traders will be looking at from the Fed meeting is to see whether or not the Fed is thinking three or four rate hikes this year. Are they going to planning on going once a quarter, or are they leaving themselves some wiggle room to miss a quarter if needed? The U.S. Uh, debt limit deal expires on March the 15th as well and in the past that's led to a lot of stress and a lot of tension and in, in within the US government has even led to US government shutdowns uh, previous shutdowns have have forced the Fed to delay actions before so it's it's possible also we could be seeing a move in March with the Fed trying to give themselves some flexibility to skip later on if they need to if something happens over the over the budget uh, also important with the budget this week is on uh, the 16th of March the uh, President Trump is expected to bring out their first budget. Traders have built in huge expectations that he'll be able to do uh, all these things that he's promised in, in, in fairly short order, very efficiently, and with minimal disruption. With the budget, we're going to start to find out where are the priorities, where are the details, what are the numbers, what is he looking to spend on first, what's going to get cut, and what could get delayed. For example, there's been a lot of talk of a push-up for military spending at the expense of spending on other departments, particularly the environment. The uh, possibility of uh, will they focus more on health care reform relative to tax reform. If, if they go with reforming Obamacare first, when does tax reform happen? And what's the nature of that? What happens with uh, with border taxes? What happens with is potentially uh, could happen with infrastructure spending? Is that going to start this year? Is that going to get pushed off to next year? So once we actually get some real numbers and details uh, on the table and, and for Congress to start discussing and, and implementing and funding, then we start to have another round potentially of the streets sorting out who could be the winners and losers in the near term relative to the longer term under President Trump. Looking at U.S. markets, so far the uh, we are seeing the uh, U.S. dollar continuing to climb heading into the Fed meeting. People are anticipating uh, an interest rate increase. We've seen that the... Uh, the the U.S. dollar index bottomed out right at the beginning of February. It's been trending upward. It's recently broke at 102 to complete an ascending triangle, but uh, hasn't been able to make too much headway yet. At this point, it looks as though the street is pricing in 
four interest rate hikes for 2017 so we'll see what happens where we may also see some significant trading action is in u.s stocks they've been screaming upward since the uh, u.s election this low near 17 near 17,500 was uh, was on election night and the recent peak was up near 21,150 so that's just a massive massive rally what we do see here though on the rsi is it's getting very overbought for a second time we're seeing a bit of a, either a double top or a negative divergence either way that upward momentum could be peaking for now and we've seen that the rsi roll back under 70 telling us that a correction could be starting what we're going to be looking for in the coming days is this 20,800 a break of this would break the re the uh, the downtrend that's been in play, or sorry, the uptrend that's been in place since election night. So watch out for that as we move through the course of this week. If that holds, we stay in the uptrend. If that breaks, then the uh, the next support is probably closer to this is about 2580. And here we have the 50-day moving average and a 23% Fibonacci retracement of the rally. I'm just going to fix that a little bit there. Of the rally in and around 20,000. 280 so that's a uh, another key technical point for the u.s market so it looks as though this week we could see quite a bit of activity in u.s trading